Hey, can anybody hear me? Is anybody there? Do we have any viewers? Sorry, we had a little technical problem. Zero viewers. We got zero viewers. Hey, who wants to talk to zero viewers? Rose, come on over. <laughs> Tell us, Rose Hannah has for many years run a fantastic oh New Way bookstore at GM. Oh. Hello. Tell them about the bookstore and why they should go there at GA. You should come to visit us at the bookstore. We have lots and lots of t shirts and umbrellas with chalices on them. We have a water bottle that's got a chalice on it that's reusable. Come visit us. You'll find an excellent book to read, and you'll meet friends there. Thanks. Bye. Thank you, Rose. This is Bob Valley. Uh, hey, you should post that on it. Okay, I will. Hey, so this is Meg Riley. We're going to have everybody just share what their favorite part of GA is so far. I bet we can do a little bit better on the bandwidth now that we paid. Yeah, you're right. Because we paid for this Wi-Fi because oh, look, you're going to the free Wi-Fi was terrible. So now, hey, we're live. If you're not in the plenary, you could be watching this in your room. Or you could be flipping back and forth. So, favorite things at GA. Oh, it's got to be the hugs. You know, you just... You, I like cyber hugs with the parentheses, but at GA you get to full body hug, like dozens and dozens and dozens of people, and it's just delightful. And strangers, old friends, new friends, everybody kind of blends together. So, and you can you can just hug someone; no one will get upset. So that's my favorite thing. Oh my God, we have biofeedback going on. Hey, come and say your favorite thing. About oh, oh, it's my favorite thing about GA so far. Well, it's you know, it's just great being here and seeing uh, seeing the gang. Um, uh, and I do love the banner parade. As 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 uh, even at at after you know, fifteen or eighteen different general assemblies, the banner parade is always great. You know, as a kid, um, one of my favorite parts of the UU world was the the part where they they listed all the churches and the ministers going to these new churches. Because you know, I always sort of felt as this isolated, you know, Unitarian Universalist youth, and and uh, and I thought like that there were Unitarian Universalists all over the country. It was always this amazing feeling to me that there were other other folks um, who belonged to this kind of wacky religion of ours, you know. And um, so you know, I, I just love the banner break, just sitting there and kind of going like, um, oh, I, uh, um, I, I, read, I last night I took a photo of, of, a, of a of a church with their banner from from South Dakota. And I was like, oh, that's great. You know, I just love that. And I still love that. And and um and it's I also love it because it's chaotic and it's fun and people are, are just kind of zooming around and <laughs> I'm talking about like the the, the I just um, saw you pontificating and I was wondering what you were saying. <laughs> I was talking about the, the banner parade yeah. and how much I love it. And, and oh oh you could do a Rachel Dolls out. We could go like this and you could have my hair. <laughs> <laughs> not, not me, not me, not my idea. It's a really good one, but it's not my idea. Right, right. I can do it. I see it. Meg, save me. Meg, save me. Meg walked away. She doesn't even know we're doing this. Uh, Look, let's go do it to scroll back. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Banner Parade was really cool. It was cool. Oh, all right, go ahead. I just oh. totally stopped all over your model. <laughs> it was good. Um, and what's also great is, is seeing old friends that I grew up with in the youth group, like my friend Kent We're here. We're giving you the hug. Kent's oh, Alaska. Here's Kent's Alaska. Here, Kent. Kent. Okay. Stop. Is this down. live? Yeah. Is this live? Yeah, yeah. And, and tell folks what, what your favorite part of General Assembly has been so far. Meeting Hank, seeing Hank again. That was the best part. No. Um, it's a lot of fun. I was like, coming here. This is a, one of a bunch of them that I've been to, and it was great. Uh, got to see the banner parade. I always get a little bit cheered up at the banner parade, seeing thousands and thousands of UUs all gathered together. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. What else? What are we, what are we supposed to talk about here? Um, we had ministry days, first uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, so I haven't gotten into GA much yet, but we've had ministry days. And uh, hi there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that was pretty, it was very moving. Lots of uh, good workshops there. <laughs> Look at me. I had long hair, it was gone, now it's back. I'm a magician. All right, Carolyn. Who's next? <laughs>
All right. What do you love about GA? What do I love about GA? Well, I'm, I'm serving on the worship arts team. And so um, what I love about GA is the, the opportunity we have to worship together as a, as a large congregation. And I know um, folks in the CLF community um, feel that online um, reverberating. Online, so you can have a real so, religious experience online. Yes, yes, it turns out absolutely, news absolutely, absolutely. And I, I've participated in those services, so I know that that's true. And the opportunity for people from small congregations, rural congregations, to come together and be in this large place has its um, has its own particular joy as well, as well. So Tom Shea is photobombing you. Oh, is that that's okay. I love being photobombed by the likes of. of Tom Shea. So, so the worship, of course, and um, and seeing old friends and being inspired by uh, folks who are doing such good work and ways that I can uh, bring back ideas to the congregation I serve and um, and hopefully make some change and enjoy the company of other yeah. people. So Carol and I, by, by the way, met on the UU College of Social Justice Yay! trip, border border justice trip. That's right, uh, right. To Tucson, and the president's fall. office too. So it was spectacular, yeah. life changing. Seriously. Yeah, 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 and really affected my work. Really? So, thanks for this Good opportunity to say, to say yeah, hello to everybody us. out there. <laughs> <laughs> this is Megan Ryan, Minister. Sit. Tell us how you're liking GA. It's good. Uh, we're right by the elevator, which is really nice. Uh, and for the those of you, actually, too. And those of you who don't know, an elevator is what you can use. There we go. That's a much better look. An elevator is what you can use to go up and down. Does that help? Yes. Yes. All right. And what is your favorite part so far of GA? Uh, my favorite part is watching the view. Oh. <laughs> It's true. Yeah. It's true. So if you're not here, yeah. you're getting the best part of General Assembly. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Thanks, Nathan. Sarah, Sarah Lawal, do you want to hear the view right now? Thanks, Nathan. Sarah, 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 Sarah. I love the view. Hi, colleague from Meadville. Hi, everybody. Now graduate and ordained and all that happy stuff. How's yes, it going? It's going great. Awesome. So what's your favorite thing about GA? It's our theme here. I think my favorite thing about GA is, are these moments, is catching up with friends and colleagues and congregants in the hallway and hashing out all of the wonderful ideas that we're hearing and seeing in workshops and in worship and of course banner parade last night. That's one of my favorite it's a bunch of all. Yeah. But also I spent ten years as a DRE and I have seven youth here this time. So another favorite thing for me is watching our youth participate in a really powerful way in a way where some of them have never experienced GA before, so that they are getting to see thousands of Unitarian Universalists in one place. And our bridging ceremony to Synergy Worship is one of the most meaningful and moving <laughs> worship services I think we do here. I love the DREs become ministers, or they already are ministers, really, from like that, the extra richness that you guys bring. Like, Thank you. You really get it. Awesome. We should all be DREs. Right. We I should all be DREs. Yeah. Oh, young people. We are so all DREs. Excited. Let's all chant that together. We, we are all DREs. DREs. Aisha, right? Where'd she go? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for joining us, Sarah. So much. Hey, we'll see you around. Uh, we'll see you later. Let's have, a, let's have an Amber Collar message. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're just going to see you coming down the escalator here. I just said former moderator. Like, he's a, a dude. It's a rental. Right here. I have a seat. Right here. You're, you're on the view, Daddy. Yes, I'm thrilled. Right. I'm right. Right. And you can right. say whatever you want about General Assembly. Uh, it's long. <laughs> uh, it gets longer every year, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it depends on how much I can. <laughs> right. <There's that>. Yeah. <laughs> But of course, it's great, you know, for uh, my work with Mainville Humboldt Theological School. It's greeting the family and uh, students like Barbara Bowers, and uh, it's a joy. And the work, the work, the work is a joy. But you know, this is—I've been coming to GA since 1968. Have so you ever missed one? I've missed. I think I missed three. Oh, I know Jerry, I, missed, I remember when your Jerry self. Well, I, but I was here. <laughs> When Jerry was in the hospital that's in it, Portland, that's it. but yeah. uh, I missed 1970 in Seattle because we didn't have enough money to go to Seattle yeah. in 1970. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, uh, we had two young children. It's not, it's not a cheap yeah. enterprise. Though. Right, and uh, and then I missed um, Claremont in 1973, Whoa. and and one other, and all, all the others I've been to. So 
you know, I'm really a lucky person. So what's your favorite thing in all of it? Like, do you, is there something you're like, I never miss? <laughs> I, I have always loved the service of the living tradition. Uh, I, you know, I'm a, a, a freak for ministers. Uh, I love ministry. I love our ministers. I, uh, the one of the reasons I work for me, the Lombard Raising Scholarship Monday, is because I think that there is no future for Unitarian Universalism without well-trained professional ministers. So, that's the idea. Everything that has to do, I'm everything that has to do with since ministry. I'm in year three. So. <laughs> right, right. right, I haven't given up on, on ministry. No, I, in, fact, in fact, as the world gets more complicated, and congregational life becomes more complex and frustrating. True. Uh, I actually believe more and more and more in training people uh, to to have the skills to navigate through these complex times. Right. Right. So, and this yeah. kind of I mean, GA is a critical part of like saying because as a as a seminarian, you kind of get yeah. in the ivory tower. Which is why I use the uh, the income from the David Fund to fund uh, seminarians. Hey, I'm a grateful recipient. Right. That, right. That, right. Right. Six from Eva Lombard and four from Star King. So I have ten ministerial students here uh, I love that. because of my scholarships. So, Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank and you, you know, so awesome. I'm a prior board chair of the church. I know board that. Fellowship and a new member of the nominating committee. So, yay! Yay! So, yay. yay. Uh, Longtime fan now. of Meg Riley. Longtime fan of Modern Moderator. Modern Moderator. I said one time in general. Hey, Modern Moderator. Michael Tino's lined up to come. Come on over. Hey, how are you? Great to see you, guys. Our next guest, Michael Tino, is a member of the Presidential Search Committee, but more importantly, the father of Australia. Have a seat. Talk about what you. I really thought you just wanted me to view bomb Denny. <laughs> so, what's up with I GA for you? I, what's up with GA for me? Well, for the first time in 15 years, I am not responsible for a single workshop at General Assembly. Um, I am here just as a member of the Presidential Search Committee. And so uh, for those of you who don't know how that process is going, we have uh, until July 15th to get applications in uh, for people interested in being nominated to be president. And uh, then we'll have until the end of the year to figure out who our nominees are. You guys got some work cut out for you because there's a, a lot bit. of great people coming along. And at this General Assembly, it's sort of the last opportunity for people who are considering running to actually engage in some discernment with us. So we're having conversations. So really just by me talking to Michael right now, I could be starting rumors. You, you, could, you could just engage in your discernment here I, publicly. I could then. publicly. That's right. Uh, no. no. There. Yeah. There. That was discernment. Oh, I like this. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted hair like this. <laughs> <laughs> this this might be the highlight of my general assembly right here. The Asia, Asia Hauser Asia living is wig. I will not make a joke. I will not make a joke. We are we are all tired of hearing about her, by the way, but yes, she is clearly enjoying it. So that's the only thing I have to do with GA. Let and run around after so my two year old. Oh, she's here. She's here. Oh my God! I She's get to here see in her. Portland with with her papa this morning. Oh, excellent! Well, um, that's something I'm gonna look forward to. We we have appointments. Did you do the child dedication? No, no, I just got here last night. Oh, wow! I didn't so, think so. Yeah. Well, that's way cool. Michael oh, Tino. Who's next? That? We have Meg Barnhouse. Yeah. The Reverend Meg Barnhouse is there. Kia, come on over. Do a two for here. I have coming with me. Come on over. Yeah, yeah. Just look at that green thing right behind. The green dot. There you go. Green dot. That's the camera. You're out of here. Hi. Hi. Sit down and relax. I was looking for a green fan. <laughs> no, you're, you're a little. You're being too fancy. You're a little more brown than we are. I was like, we can't really. This is Hi. a former guest, the infamous and famous other Meg. I'm that Meg, and she's <laughs> There's two Meg. of us. We're both Meg. <laughs> That's right. And we're in the same place at the same time. You need thing in one and thing two shirts. And this is my wife, Kaya Hartwood. I'm the only one. And together they make beautiful music. And together we make And separately they make beautiful music. And here you are at General yeah. Assembly. What are you doing? Yeah. Um, we're going to get registered. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Very important, getting registered. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. Here, photo bomb. I need my hair to be a little more. Let, wait, let me fix my hair here. <laughs> this is Asia's delight of the day. <laughs> Way too much fun doing this. My hair's too slippery. It's oh, not holding. Awesome. No, I just need to be back here and it'll yeah. give it a bit of yeah. Yeah, it's it Oh, there you go. I have a kind of a Halo. Halo. There you go. That is awesome. I really never wanted one of this. <laughs> Don't worry. You won't have one. That won't be happening. So, what do you love about GA? Uh, I love seeing my friends. Yeah. That's and I love learning new things. I love singing with thousands of Unitarians at the same time. And I like going to the bookstore. Oh, yeah. Rose Hannock was just here. Yeah. yeah. And I love Rose is great. I love yeah. her. She's She's full of love this morning. But I'll tell you some things I don't love. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can have one. One pet peeve. I used to live in a house where we have one pet peeve. And yours would be about GA? Oh, no. My pet peeve about GA? No, I'm not going there. Oh. I'm going to be relentlessly positive this morning. All right. Relentlessly yeah. positive. That's how I was ready. How about you? Uh, what do you I, like about GA? Uh, everything. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya went to preacher's wife school. Really young. <laughs> Her grandma Mommy. was the perfect Mommy. preacher's wife. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So All right. it's nice well, to say hello to everybody. Thank you. Oh. Next, we've got I'm Reverend Mike. Susan Frederick Gray, fresh out of Phoenix a few days ago. <laughs> Done. Hello. She was fresh. We all were fresh. <laughs> we all were fresh ago. a few days ago. I love GA. The best thing about the best thing about GA is seeing Unitarian Universalists from around the country. People in the struggle together, good friends. Um, it's great to be in this community for a short period of time. Yeah. Feel surrounded by the love of Unitarian Universalism and the love of Unitarian Universalists. Indeed, that and yeah. you see people and you catch up with um in the flesh, which is you know different from Facebook. So, uh, what's going on in Phoenix now? Well, got the mosque. I got the mosque. Yeah, that was terrible. That was really um, terrible. It was really terrible. Were you guys were involved with going around. We went. We we were not there for protection because the mosque. So the group that came was um, heavily armed. Yes. They came with clear intentions that they Absolutely. would love to have an incident where they might where someone might get hurt. And so the mosque. Beautiful story. The mosque has a really strong relationship with the Church of the Nazarene that's right next door to it. Ah. And so they have they've done. Um, and we've helped actually with some, um, we do work with Eritrean refugees who are, some who are Muslim. So um, they asked, so the Nazarene church offered to come form a barrier, but the mosque was very clear they didn't want anyone else to come. So it was very hard not to go, but I felt like I needed to honor the community. And I think they just didn't want people they didn't know there. And it, was, it could have gotten really, really, really yeah. it was instead such beautiful courage that yeah. they evidenced. And, yeah. Yeah. So and then they held another event. What happened is kind of the interfaith community held an event on Monday, a solidarity event. Um, and that was beautiful. Six, seven hundred people with like two days notice packed the community center at the Islamic Center and we all brought flowers and filled their windows with flowers at the end and um, just talked about the shared um, values of love and compassion present in all of our faiths. So, that's cool. Yeah. Thanks for that. Absolutely. I mean, Arizona just seems like it's more and more in the news. Hey, Chris. It does, but we can't forget the Arizona vacation for the United States <laughs> and that the things ground. that happen there don't stay there. Yeah, yeah it's a testing ground. Alec is yeah. active there. Yeah. yeah. So, and I'm still suing the sheriff, so I'm oh, still in federal uh, court, you know. The sheriff. <laughs> And um and, and one of our colleagues, Andy the Burnett, sheriff, is also in the sheriff too. Right? Lots of people are suing the sheriff. Yeah, yeah but he's in contempt of court here. Yeah, I'm loving but, that. And he, but the judge just delayed like the decision for a while, so we thought he the decision would come down in July. Oh, now it's been just deferred. Yeah. So yeah. it's hard. Well, you guys, I mean, you just keep going. It's really really inspiring. Thank you. Really, um, so we're going to do another the justice, justice court today. feels very small. Oh, you know, I just want to like a, there are big moments. There are, we had marriage equality in Arizona. Yes, I did yes. 13 weddings that day. That was a day of joy. Yeah, that, there are moments when it's a leap, but mostly it's tiny, tiny. I mean, in Minneapolis, we just got rid of spitting and lurking. 
oh, from wow. the tuberculosis epidemic. I mean, you know, so it is. It's small steps, but we got to keep taking them because that's how anything happens, right? Yes. You wait for that glorious moment. <laughs> that's just not no. And often you don't know till it's over and that it was going to be. You know? I think that's you can't yeah, plan you those can't. moments. You just can't. can't. So now we're doing another Justice GA, I hear, or something I, like it. I've heard a little bit about that. In, in um, New Orleans. New Orleans. And so what yeah. would you say to the people of New Orleans about hosting that? Um, I think what I would say to the people of New Orleans is to work, I mean, to be in community, to be in relationship with the community of New Orleans beyond Unitarian Universalists. To be forming those partnerships now because in justice with justice ga a huge part of its success was it was that unitarian universalists weren't leading the strategy you know we said how can we help and you know they and the migrant rights organizers were the people who said you know that we need to have something at tent city we need to draw attention to tent city so in new orleans i would say you know the groundwork right now has to be a I would recommend it be about finding strong partners on the ground. Certainly, you know, Deanna Vandiver and, and the Center for Ethical Living and Social Justice is very well connected in the community. Didn't they send organizers to Arizona? The UUA paid somebody to help build those connections? Wasn't that part of That was me. That was my job. So I worked half time for the UUA, yeah. and my piece was holding those partnerships. Right. So I'm thinking maybe GA needs to be yes. looking. I'm thinking maybe some money needs to go to New Orleans I would, oh, to get that moving. So I should say that, like, you know, the UUA paid, gave the congregation money so that we could have staff working on Justice GA. It took more staff and planning to do that than because it's not our normal general assembly. So we have to, and you know it's it's good. You don't change the world without financial resources either. You know, you need money to do I didn't mean to set up to say that, but I that's, that's <laughs> it's one okay, of my I needed a setup. I needed a setup because that was critical. Yeah. Yeah, you don't that just really make things happen. happen without financial resources. All so. right, amen. Yep. So, New Orleans. New Orleans. We're going to support them. Yes. And that'll be an exciting yes. GA. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Well, great to see you. Nice to see you. Happy GA. See, I told you. It's nice all to about see all of you. <laughs> we got some youth. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, have a seat and look at that little green dot and say whatever okay, you want. Okay, <laughs> You can just look at that green dot. So, how's TA for you guys? Uh, TA has been really good so far. Where are you from? Chattanooga, Tennessee. Oh, cool. And you yeah. too? Yeah, I'm from the Seattle area. All right. So, did you meet here? No, um, we've been working together. We're close. For we're all times. Times. Yeah. We're the yeah. business managers of the Youth Caucus this year. Mm -hmm. um, so, we've been working together since January. January. Um, we're writing some AIWs for the entire yeah, general tell, session. Tell everybody yeah. about the AIWs. Yeah. yeah, so we wrote the Black Lives Matter right. AIW, and we're also supporting Samantha Ames' um, anti-gay conversion therapy AIW. Um, anti-conversion therapy, I not anti-gay. Yeah. Just to be clear, they're, they're not anti-gay. <laughs> And, therapy. and it's just, um, it's basically charging the way to become truly inclusive to um, trans individuals, all sexual orientations, non-binary, um, youth specifically, and really calling to extend our acceptance um, make them truly transform in those centuries. Excellent. That's yes. fabulous. Well, you know, usually, however the youth go, the plenary goes. You guys are, you do such good work, you create really good statements, you're always really tight, and then you represent them so well. And then, there's the, and then there are people like me going, those are the values we taught, and look, people are living them, I guess we should support them. So it's kind of hard to say no, isn't it? We're just here to keep people talking about them. That's right. Starting conversations. It's fabulous. Well, thanks for all your work. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Chris Grass. Chris Grass, come and have a seat. Hello. I told you I like hugging the day. Have a seat. It's wonderful. To see you all here, and I've got a surprise. <laughs> I have come to GA to announce. <laughs> this is what he should see. I've been doing this. It's the Rachel Dolezal. <laughs> yes, yes. I have a new identity. <laughs> because you can't be a white owl. Exactly. 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 I'm tired. I'm, I'm making the switch. Yeah. 
yeah. All right. So How what are you doing, doing at GA? I am uh, excited to uh, be here with all these beautiful UU people. And I'm um, doing a few sessions, doing a session today with the Mosaic Makers yeah. on um, how you use or bring in our faith out into different kinds of communities. And um, then tomorrow, a few cool. sessions around Black Lives Matter and uh, supporting white UUs around racial justice yeah. and organizing. Yeah, what you, tell me where you think the white organizing is among the leaders. How do you see? Do you think, think it's a moment? I think it culturally is a moment where things are yeah. different. Do you see that within UUism? Yeah, I think it. I think it's a huge moment. I mean, I think one of the one of the questions is just like, you know, what can we as a UU denomination do around creating infrastructure to support more and more UUs to not only have their minds blown by the headlines, but then have support within our congregations, within our faith, to get you know political education, yeah. training, discussion uh, groups, support, study circles, exactly. places That's where people crazy. can go, but then also infrastructure that helps mobilize right. white you use. I mean, standing on the side of love is a fantastic uh, you know, new development in the last several years, and it's been around for a while now, but to help mobilize you use out in the world. So I think the more and more we can have um, infrastructure that supports education, that supports mobilization, and that helps cultivate leadership. Yeah. You know? I think so a lot what would be like if you, if you had you ran the zoo, and if you I ran the zoo, like what would you do? I mean, I I would definitely allocate money towards uh, d uh, developing uh, training programs. The youth, uh, you know, for a long time had incredible, incredible trainings that they were doing all over the country. So I mean, our whole generation of UU youth were coming up with this like really sophisticated politics and activism. So definitely would 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 have. And I, I'm not as familiar with the whole UU infrastructure, so some of the stuff might already exist. But definitely a department that is dedicated towards doing uh, doing training work um, with with UUs, and then also a whole crew of spiritual leaders who are able to provide kind of a pastoral care, leadership development of. And spreading that around you use so there's more and more people who can meet the emotional and spiritual needs of you use in this moment, but not just help console someone, but agitate them in a way that is needed to then get in the streets and participate in the Black Lives Matter movement. Yeah. And so a kind of pastoral care, leadership development kind of uh, uh, infrastructure within the congregation, the denomination, definitely trying to cultivate a multiracial uh, leadership kind of team that can represent our denomination out in the world, making statements. I know, you know, Peter Morales has been doing some really great statements as the president, but people who can be participating in demonstrations and rallies and speaking to our communities as our union denomination. So definitely, you know, and I know there's a lot of partnerships. So a more um, clear partnership with the Black Lives Matter movement. There's the Black, there's the Movement for Black Lives uh, conference coming up in Cleveland in July. I think that could be a really good opportunity. My understanding, um, I've heard that uh, uh, you know Major UU leader Kenny Wiley is going to be at that conference. I'm sure a bunch of other UUs will be there as well. Um, so potentially being able to empower those folks to make some commitments from our denomination coming out of GA. These are some commitments that we want to make, some financial commitments, mobilization commitments, you know, our churches as resources for communities to use, which many are, for meetings, for events, but just having, not just us as individual UUs trying to figure it out, but as our faith, how can we speak with a united voice around Black Lives Matter in this historic moment? Um, and then infrastructure around education uh, and mobilization to help support you to be active in this moment. Yeah. Well, I hope you're talking to people who are running for president. Hey, that sounds good. Yet, that sounds I good. This should be part of any presidential. Yeah, we have, right? we, Yeah, we need yeah, a good this needs platform. To come from the top. Yeah, Absolutely. liberation theology in this moment. Exactly. Well, yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks for all your work. And I'm, I'm glad I'll see you around, Mr. GA. Mwah. I hear we got Mark Hicks standing by. Mark Hicks. Hey, Mark Hicks. Hey, how are you? Come on over. Got Mark Hicks. Mark Hicks is the Angus McLean right? Yes. Professor of Religious Education at Meville Lombard and a dear friend. Yeah. And also, he's been, Chris was just talking about the need for congregations right. to do deep work, and you've been working with Beloved Conversations oh, in our that's congregations. Right. That's right, that's right, and so. actually, this, that's why it's so wonderful to be here at, uh, at GA, it's because I'm running to people that are telling stories about change and, and, and consequences for their lives and uh, and how it matters, so it's just so, it's really exciting. Can you tell me yeah. one of your favorite stories you've heard? 
<laughs> well, you can well, disguise. Oh, the I can details. I can disguise the details. Gonna... So um, one of the, the the favorite ones, I, as an educator, I I love hearing people tell stories of of, um, of transformation. And there's a person who said, "I've been a Unitarian Universalist for 25 years. I've been through all the programs. I've had the conversations. I've done all of that. But let me tell you, in like 20 minutes, this stuff is kicking my butt." He used a different word, uh, but I said, "But that's really, that's really good." Isn't this interesting? I grew hair. Oh my! See, see what happens when you come to GA. You're, you are transformed, and and because Aisha is a beloved conversations facilitator. I love, love, right. love, love, love conversation. <laughs> This, so, is, this is what happens. So, so anyway, in 20 yeah. minutes, their lives were changed. It took 25 years to get to that point. Yeah. And then I blew their mind. Well, well, it was also, but there's a lot of setup that happened. Yeah, of course. You know, so people were yeah. in community. They were I'm really interested in that tipping point thing. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Mark. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. Hello. 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 Things hanging from the ceiling above the stage, they're not clouds. They're not an urge to recycle. They are roses. Roses. I, I Thank you. They're roses. I did wonder about those. That's great. So, yeah. So, because I wonder sometimes what it takes to get to that tipping point, you know? And yeah. so you got to hear somebody who, who hit it. Well, I think what it, what it takes is obviously um, it's creating a place where people can be in relationship and it's a sincere relationship yeah. and it's one where they're practicing vulnerability because this, and this happened. Yeah. Probably about three weeks into into the yeah. entire series of conversations, yeah. um, but it was that 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 moment where it's like, wow, this is really amazing. I'm really not prepared for myself to understand who I am at this point. All yeah. so, oh, the bottom falls out. It, the it, bottom it, it, falls it does, out, and does, then to be there to yeah. yeah, yeah oh, yeah, thank yeah, you yeah. so much oh, for all your thank work. Thank you for doing this. this and for engaging the imagination. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. go go. Fabulous. All right, take care. See each other. All right. Uh, I'm sure she was, but you're at the Laura. Yeah, let's talk to Laura. Here we have an international visitor. Have a seat. Okay. <laughs> Hello, this is Swiss Laura. <laughs> I'm Swiss Laura, yes. I'm a CLF member, and, and I'm happy to Look at that green thing. Talk about GA. Oh, GA. It is, it's phenomenal to be here. So Laura is an, one of a number of international visitors who comes to GA. How many folks are here from outside the U.S.? Do you know? Or what would you guess? I don't have the numbers, but I've got friends here from uh, from India and from Transylvania and from the Philippines and from oh, actually they're just coming from all over from uh, Colombia. CLS staff party. member Jorge Espinel. Yes, <laughs> yeah, nice plug. Jorge is a gorgeous guy. It, it's so fun to have everyone here and sharing in this experience together and to be able to connect with people. Um, we come from such remote communities. We don't have um, congregational life like this. We don't get to spend time and, and just share the energy and worship. Well, most of us don't get to worship with thousands of people. <laughs> it's a treat for all of us. So what's your favorite thing about GA? Favorite thing about GA? Oh, it's hard to narrow it down, but for me, it's just it's the energy. It's the energy of being here and being connected with people and seeing you know, my, my colleagues in the seminary and catching up with old friends. And, you know, it's, it's once a year, but it feels like it's so much more often yeah. than not because yeah. the connections are so strong. Thank it's you. Yeah, it is the energy. And the people. And the people. People's energy. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Miss Laura. We have, whoops, we have Madam Standing on the Side of Love with us. Hey, Jennifer. I think on. that's still your name. <laughs> Let us see. Okay. So Jennifer is the director, and you have a new last name. Yeah. Married. Jennifer <laughs> Toff Clary. Yeah. Is the director of the Standing on the Side of Love program. Several people have already brought it up. What's new with Standing on the Side of Love? Um, what's new with Standing on the Side of Love? We're doing a lot with Black Lives Matter and racial justice work, and I think that's really exciting. And that's what's most exciting about this GA, too. I think that there's a whole workshop track tomorrow for folks who are listening and here. You know who the audience is. So well, right now, there are two viewers. Hi! But, <laughs> but people will listen later. Yeah, okay, and there great. are people who are here and who aren't. So yeah. you could tell them about cool. your website and yeah. initiatives coming along. And a lot of workshops will be streamed, too, so yes. people can find out. Yes, afterwards. the CLF um, folks all know what they can stream. Oh, sure. OK, wonderful. So you're already on top of that. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, this yeah. is church, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Church on the big screen. So now you moved out to LA. I did. And so how is it? how do you see 
now that you're not in the Beltway, which is such a world in and of itself, how does standing on the side of love feel different when you're in Southern California than it does in the Beltway? Yeah, I mean, I think that we have been wanting to like get a better pulse of like what's happening across the country anyhow, and sort of not just be doing legislative work because I think what was kind of happening being in DC you we started to like fill the role of doing more legislative work because there used to be a, a larger legislative office so um, I think that was um, an intentional shift and I think that's been really good so I've been trying to go um, talk to folks more be in congregations more um, we've done a couple of like supporting border trips which I think is really important um, do that go with the College of Social Justice or the Justice Ministry of California really um, yeah so I think that's how it's different like not feeling the vacuum of just doing like legislative work and trying to support grassroots leaders. Yeah. Grassroots leaders. Yeah. So, um, what, what are some of the more exciting local initiatives people have done lately with Stand on the Side of Love? Oh my God, so many. I think. Um, I think we're seeing a lot of people who are doing really good immigration work and detention visitation programs, folks who are involved in like their local um, immigration coalitions, what they're doing on the ground there. I think definitely with Black Lives Matter work and just getting involved, um, you have a great pulse on that. I mean, I think just, you know, from starting, not small, but just getting a banner up and doing the weekly vigils um, to larger actions as well, I think that's, those are two really if you, I just asked Chris Krause this, so I'll ask you, if you got to run the zoo, if you got to de <laughs> determine what, you know, you got an unlimited budget, like what, what would, um, what would our movement be doing to stand on the side of love right now? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, you know, I think I would take a cue from uh, the racial justice survey that just went out, and I got to help sort of put some of those results together. And a lot of, one of the questions was, what, do, what support do you need and what should we be doing? And like, hands down, people were saying that we shouldn't be determining that. We should be taking leadership from people of color, especially in the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, and so I think instead of, as fun as it is to dream up, like what well, I would do with all of that. No, but I'm not saying <laughs> yeah. we would be running it. I'm saying right, right. how would we empower people to yeah. not run it? I yeah. Mean, right? yeah. Because people might say take leadership. Most of you don't know what that means. Yeah. So how would you work with them to learn what that means? I think we'd have to take a cue from initiatives like the Sharing Project and learn how to like listen more and have more conversations mm -hmm. um, to figure out how to do that kind of work. And I think it has to be relational. Yeah. I think it has to be relationship yeah. and starting there. Now, G is going to be in New Orleans in two years, and it's going to be a Justice GA. Right? <laughs> yes. Are you all looking at being part of that and planning for that? And are you yeah. thinking about that already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's been a lot of really interesting, like trying to look, um, use design thinking to think about what that Justice GA will look like. So, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be really exciting. Oh, yeah, it's really fun. Well, thank you. Thank yeah, you definitely. Yeah. Hey, You were so fabulous. Uh, you were so fabulous. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Have a seat right here. This is Carolyn Olatol, a mentor for so many of us. Uh, 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 artist now, I know, and I'm um, doing a lot with art in Southern California after a long and very successful ministerial. Career, so Thank you, man. I'm actually you? not. I'm not creating art. I'm involved in the art world and, and museum work. And, uh, ah, my father was a very famous artist. artist. I learned this because I stayed at Tom and Carolyn's house once, and then I went to see a friend of mine because I'm not from California. I don't know California art, and he said, "Let me show you a postcard of by my famous favorite artist in the world." And I looked at it and said. I was just in a house where there was a lot of work by that guy. He said, no, you weren't. And I said, no, I really was. And then I learned. He was like, what are you kidding? Because, you know, what do I know about famous artists? But your father was quite somebody there in California. Our father was Miller Chase. He's known as the father of California water. So, so you've inherited a great legacy there. Yeah, but I learned that I didn't want to be an applied artist. I was a little bit of a hard act at home, although yeah. I majored in art history in college. But I've been pretty local with our churches and congregations in the San Diego area since retiring officially. So it's wonderful to be back at GA and see all my colleagues, all the ones still living, and, uh, and just to be among us. A lot of West Coast people, of course, because we're like 80 from our church. Oh, that's fabulous. Anyway, it's it's uh, 
So is it reconnecting? That's your favorite Absolutely. part? Absolutely. Well, Minister's Day was stimulating beyond, beyond expectations. It was doing the talks on the 25 and 50 year talks. And, uh, yeah. the where, uh, the where, no, from parties, whatever. You did. The Berry Street. Yeah, it was all. The Berry Street. Very strong. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's so good to see you, my dear, yes. and to see and just you get a beautiful response. Yes. Oh, thank you. Just really cool. That was yeah, that was wonderful. It's yeah. on video. You can watch it at the UMA live stream too. Excellent. Thank you, Carolyn. And now we have CLF's own one, Elizabeth Buki. Hello. Have a seat. Have a seat. Okay. Talk. Elizabeth is very familiar <laughs> with talking to cameras. cameras. Hello, everyone. This is my first appearance on The View, though, so it's very exciting. Hello? Are we just... Uh, just say what you love about GA. GA is awesome. I love meeting all of the people who I have... I think the best thing is meet, has been meeting people who I've only met on camera, either with the CLF or um, in other places, and seeing that they like you, you actually have bodies and like we we come out of the thing. So that's awesome. I walked by Joanna. And she said, "Do you recognize me now?" She's like, oh, my <laughs> that's awesome. Here, hello, Hello. Do you want to try what it's like to look like an Asian hair? Sure. So sit here. Okay. Ah, nice, nice. It's the we're doing like either Rachel Dolezal or Asia Gaslock. Oh, so yeah. We're kind of seeing how to see. What did we think? Yeah, yeah. Did it work out? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? It work out? What it's been think? working out yeah. pretty fun. Yeah, depending on who I started with, Hank Purse, who was trying to give you this profound review of the matter for everyone what he's talking about. Yeah, so I was kind of like, yeah. uh, so no. gave him a little wing. It was fun. Awesome. Fun. And after that, I did it for various people. Cool. Yeah. So, so um, cool. yay, GA is fun. GA is fun. What's your um, favorite part? Did we already do that? We did. Well, I'm excited to meet people in my oh, life. Oh. Um, and then, should I talk to the camera? Yeah, you can talk to the camera. Okay. What, what are your pet peeves? I think name one. Um, it's cold in the convention center. I know. Yeah. When we were in Fort Worth, it was even worse because it was like 200 degrees outside, and yeah. then you walk into a convention center, it was like 40. Yeah. So it was so schizophrenic. Yeah, it's very upsetting. Yeah. Um, I just did, so a bunch of us just did put together a, a like a UU baptism ceremony, oh, yeah. like a DIY liturgy kind of thing out on the on the lawn across from here. So if you're really here, fun. when can people, oh, you just did it. We just did it. Oh. Sorry. So you can't come. So but next time, we'll have next time. people know. Yeah. Cool. And come to CLF Worship. Did you talk about oh, that? Oh, CLF, CLF Worship is happening on Saturday at uh, 115 in the Portland Ballrooms number something. And there will be people with uh, ch Chantlers, Chalice Antlers, who will probably tell you, like this, who will tell you how to get to work. That's some good video there. Yeah, that's good. Um, so, anyway. Yeah, cool! Yeah. Yay! 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 And then I'll give you Asia hair. I know, I need Asia hair okay, more than let's anything do else. Hair. Let's do okay. Asia hair. You gotta lean a little. Oh, that's fabulous. How, uh, how long has it been? How long has it been, Tom? How long has it been since I had that kind of hair? Yeah. Decades. <laughs> Decades. I've never Decades. had that kind of hair. But I'm still kind of balding in the front. I'm kind of pissed at Rachel Dozzle. She stole my hair. That's oh, yeah. Say, yeah. <laughs> I had this first. <laughs> I did not say you that. have I much better hair. I Let's do. just say. Let's just say. And I bet you work much less hard to So get. tell us your GA. Okay. Well, Everybody goes about, you know, the thing that I heard about GA is that it's uh, a lot like high school because um, who you say hi to and who says hi to you in the hall and who you eat lunch with become like really important things. So I have developed my own personal, <laughs> right, it's true. it's true, very anxiety provoking if you're that kind of person. So oh, I have, yeah. and I am that kind of person. But not if you're one of the popular people. Like well. That. Then it's okay. Some people want to be with you all the time. You know, don't. You know, Frank is <laughs> Hank is avoided. Irritated. Hank is avoided by the very best people <laughs> at GA. You know, they but, say it's strange, like, everyone knows my name. Everyone knows <laughs> their <laughs> name. <laughs> and they're all <laughs> right, right. Everybody looks away. All of a sudden, they're terribly interested in their program. <laughs> oh my God, where is that workshop on? New pledge campaigns. Oh, oh God! Up there. <laughs> oh, look, there's somebody with a disposable water bottle. 
chase them. Chase them. them. Oh, that's Hank. Oh, run, away, run away. Run away. Run away. Anyway, my survival plan is what? To say hi to everybody. In the yeah. Hall. Everybody in the hall, right? And secondly, when you go in to eat in anywhere, sit at an empty table. Yeah. Or sit with a stranger. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> The people who show up to sit at the table with you will be uh, fun, interesting, and great unions, and you will learn about everything. I look like I have this great little yeah. nodule growing on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? A top knot. A I top. can give you a foil. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I, so you the when, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Give the chest there. So <laughs> say hi to everybody in the hall. And you. Everybody will say hi to you. Just wear this. I'm trying to be serious. It's like horns. The devil's horn. This is because you can be a member of two congregations. Yes. And your other congregations. Yes. The Sheila logo kind of. Oh, yeah. There it is. There we go. There we go. Hello. Anyway. Well, thank uh, you to our one viewer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it might be one of our computers here. If it's not, you really are steadfast. Yes. <laughs> you are very yes. steadfast. Because we're competing with like probably something really profound. On, on the live. Even if no one ever watches this, I had some great conversations. Yes. People said amazing things. So. Oh, you could do a chalica beard or whatever that is. That's Chalica right. beard. <laughs> <laughs> Can we close this thing out? Are we done? Are we done? Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Have a great summer. Yay.